Educationists should build the capacities of the spirit of inquiry, creativity, entrepreneurial and moral leadership among students and become their role model. God is everywhere. While children are struggling to be unique, the world around them is trying all means to make them look like everybody else. For me, there are two types of people, the young and the experienced. Where there is righteousness in the heart, there is harmony in the house. When there is harmony in the house, there is order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. Tell me, why is the media here so negative? Why are we in India so embarrassed to recognize our own strengths, our achievements? We are such a great nation. We have so many amazing success stories but we refuse to acknowledge them. Why? Where do the evils like corruption arise from? It comes from the never-ending greed. The fight for corruption-free ethical society will have to be fought against this greed and replace it with, what can I give, spirit. For me, there is no such thing as a negative experience. Regarding marriage, it, somehow, it didn't happen. One fellow in such a big family not getting married is not an issue. In India we only read about death, sickness, terrorism, crime. I firmly believe that unless one has tasted the bitter pill of failure, one cannot aspire enough for success. No religion has mandated killing others as a requirement for its sustenance or promotion. A teacher should have a creative mind. Be more dedicated to making solid achievements than in running after swift but synthetic happiness. Poetry comes from the highest happiness or the deepest sorrow. No sanction can stand against ignited minds.